Hi family, it's Regina. Today's episode is going to be a biggie. Parfums de Marley. Yeah, I have eight of them. We're going through. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is your repeat visit, thanks for coming back to hang out with me. I appreciate you being here. We are going to dive right in. You know my story if you've been here before, and if you don't, very quickly, I am working my way down from approximately 800 fragrances that I bought over the last year and a half to 300 fragrances under the direction of Spirit, who spoke to me last summer and said, you gotta get that down. You crazy. You're taking up all your house space. That's not really what the voice said, but nevertheless, that was the message. Here I am on social media doing it, and you're here joining me. Let's get into it. And as I like to say, welcome. Perfumes de Marley came onto the scene with Delina, which obviously is going to be another iconic fragrance. I was late to that party, so I don't know what to say. I might have to excuse myself from the continued party because as we're gonna see, Delina is probably not my favorite from PDM. It is Safanade. And let me tell you, Safanade, I think I have two backups. Something that I'm not even gonna test y'all because I don't need to. This is a top 10 for life. I'm gonna read you the notes, if I can actually read these. Orange, pear, pedigree, essence which I'm not really sure I even knew that I like Pettigrain, but apparently I love it in this. Heart notes are Ylang Ylang, Orange Blossom, Jasmine Sambach, Absolute, Base notes, Amber Vanilla, Sandalwood. And of course, right there, those three base notes just take me to a whole nother place. So I'm not even testing this. I'm just telling you that I have it. It is staying. But let's get into the ones that truly could be on that chopping block, the OG, and that is Delina. I'm gonna read you the notes because this is a tester, so it's on the back and the old lady can actually read it. The top notes are rhubarb, lychee, bergamot essence. The heart notes are Turkish rose, peony, vanilla, and your base notes are cashmeran, musk, and vetiver. I'm gonna try it, y'all. I'm gonna spray it. Obviously, I have it. I think these are 75 mils. These are not big given the price that they are. As you know, they have spawned a clone industry. There are so many Delina clones that it is not even funny. I think I've had three of them. I think I'm only keeping one. Let me just try this and let's talk it through about what is going on for me with Delina. You've all heard the lychee, the, the rhubarb, it's sharp, it's tart. When I first got it, this actually was what I, what I liked about it was that it was tart. The sprayer, actually the sprayer is not that bad, you guys. I'm actually kind of impressed by that. And it's true. I get... I don't know if it's the lychee or the rhubarb. I get that tartness right off the top and a little bit of green. And maybe that is from the, the bergamot essence or maybe it's very quickly moving into the heart notes. It is just the rose is shining through. So this obviously is a rose forward fragrance, but I don't love it. I like it. I don't love it. And let me tell you why when we talk about the other two that are a part of the Delina. Let's talk about Delina exclusive. That gorgeous flanker which is also a tester. So let me read you these notes. This is pear, lychee, and grapefruit. Heart notes, rose, damascena, incense, and vetiver. Base notes, heart, musk, and everville. Ever, no. So you have the same base notes in Delina Exclusive, but they, they've replaced that rhubarb with the pear. Let me talk about it. That was a lot of sprays, I know. This Exclusive lacks the tartness from that. Let's go with the rhubarb then the juiciness and the sweetness of that pear, which is not sugar sweet, but is just a fruit sweet, is coming through. And probably the grapefruit is keeping it together. And I think I prefer, if you're talking citrus, I much prefer grapefruit to bergamot. So for me, this is this is just a dream, this Delina Exclusive. It's gorgeous. But before, but let, but let me get into the other one. Let's talk about La Rosé. Because, you know, she came onto the scene. La Rosé, look at that. Gorgeous bottle. I, I mean, I love I love the shape of the bottles. They're interesting. I love the caps. They're all a little different, a little crystal. Ah, La Rosé should have, this is a combo, lychee, bergamot, and pear. So a little twist. Let me, let me try this one. Oh, this is so nice. But you see, for me, there's, a, there's an aquatic note here. It very much strikes me as a smoother, more subtle Davidoff cool water. It has that marine water note going on. I love this one. I really do. Gorgeous. Now, I, I gotta be honest, you can tell by the fact that these are all pretty full. I may have sprayed them. I have not worn them, so I will, I will test it. But let me tell you what my thoughts are when I went through this. Because I have Delina La Rosé, Delina Exclusive, and then of course I have Delina. Delina La Rosé to me is like a Nyad 
which is a poor pronunciation for what would be a water sprite, a fairy in the fairy world. She is aquatic, sweet, very soothing, definitely something aquatic, not necessarily salty or marine so not like I'm talking ocean, but definitely more like freshwater river lake. Exclusive to me is the fairy queen version of the fairy that is Delina. Delina is sharper, she's more impulsive, she's younger, she hasn't mellowed. Exclusive is mellowed. She is stronger, she's wiser, she is more thoughtful. So that's how I sort of viewed the three of them in terms of which one do I want to smell like. Now, if you're asking me which ones are going, this one is a definite yes. This is a this is a keeper. I need to wear these. My I'm leaning more towards exclusive as the one I would prefer if I had to keep one. This would be it. And Delina the OG would actually be the one that would go. But let's move on. We'll see. Those are my things. What do you think about that in terms of me equating Delina to fairies? The world of the Fae in Celtic mythology and all sorts of other mythologies. But let let us keep going because here we have the gorgeous Oriana. Do we not all know this? How many how many Middle Eastern dupes, clones, do you have? I only have one, which I believe is Ansem Gold. Of course, I had like four or five or six at some point. I got rid of them because I didn't even know if I liked the OG anymore. But I certainly didn't need four or five or six Middle Eastern clones. So let me spray this one. This one is sweet, sweet. Oh. Yeah that orange blossom. I don't want to say she slaps me in the face because that's not true. She's not, she's not slapping me. She is, oh, she's coming up and doing like, oh, pet, and she's feeling my face, but she's letting me know she's there. Just, ah, this is smoother to my nose based on, on some gold. This is so much smoother, so much better blended. Oh, but that orange blossom is right there. It is so, okay. Oh, ha, <laughs> I didn't even notice. She was a tester. She got the notes on the back. Let me read those to you. Top notes, mandarin, bergamot, grapefruit. Heart notes, you have orange blossom, black currant, and raspberry. Y'all, right there. Those heart notes are the trifecta for me. That right there. I just won the fragrance lottery in heart notes with those three. Those are my absolute all-time favorite notes. Base notes, well, in the top or, or base, right? Tar top or mid notes. Base notes, marshmallow, ambrette, chantilly cream, and musk. Oh, I mean, yeah. I don't find, I don't find her to be Marshmallows don't necessarily smell like orange blossom to me. She's very much an orange blossom, but a sweet orange blossom fragrance. And I made that maybe the amberette and the marshmallow, but then you have the Chantilly cream, which would be like vanilla cream. I don't get that either, but I may, if I let her dry down, I'm, I may. She is absolutely stunning, gorgeous. Love her. Let's pick the yellowy one, which is Cassili. And I gotta be honest, Cassili I got because I like collecting sets of things. I'm not quite sure I ever bothered to look at the notes and think, do I like it? Do I want it? I just went have to have them all because, because I need a, I need a complete set. It's like dishes. You can't have a, seven, a serving of one. You gotta have a serving of four or eight, unless you host parties, in which case you want a serving for 12. But let me talk about Cassili, which is not a tester. So there are no notes on the back of this. So let me just spray this one out. So guys, how have you been? I have, life has been lifing for me. I think we're in a retrograde or a downgrade or an upgrade. We're in some sort of a grade, that's for sure. <laughs> Not bad, it's just keeping me busy. I don't like this. There's a greenness to it, or maybe there is... I don't, I'm not liking the initial spray. It smells more green to me. Yeah, I don't know. So, so Cassili is a no for me. So Cassili is going in the declutter, rehome bim. Eliora, gorgeous, clear bottle. Just beautiful, you guys, right? Just mm, so gorgeous. Same thing with Meliora. She was another one that was just, I needed a set, so I bought her. Now, I've stopped that because you're gonna see, I don't have Valaya and I don't have any of the other ones that may have come somewhere in there. I don't have those. I stopped. I wasn't all that enamored with these and honestly, and then once I hit Safanad, I was like, I don't care. I got what I got. I got what I want. I got it. Here we go. 
but I do give credit for the sprayers. The sprayers are actually very nice. Oh, this smells like a Christmas tree. Or it smells like a tree in the woods. An evergreen. Interesting. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. I'm looking at these, at the notes that I wrote down, finally for the first time ever. This is supposed to be the black currant because it's black currant, red berries, and it's cassis. So it could be the black currant, the cassis that just is not working for me. But, or maybe it's the berries that belong on an evergreen tree. I don't know. So Meliora is a no. This is my newest edition, which I didn't know how to say it. Altair, whatever this is called. Obviously it's in the more masculine looking bottle. It's unisex. You wear what you want, however you want, whatever smells good on you. I fell in love with this. Again, I believe when I got it, I, I would have counted it second only to Safanad. But that was my winter nose. <laughs> I haven't smelled it since I bought it in December. Let me check now and as I'm moving into my spring summer nose. Oh, I'm so in love with this. Uh, this smells like warm spices and maybe that's where you get the sense of it being a, a fall or cooler weather fragrance, but I'm getting cloves, cinnamon, not a lot of cinnamon because I'm not a fan of cinnamon in my fragrance. Y'all should know that. Let me see. What does it say on my notes? Yep. Cinnamon, cardamom, bergamot, and orange blossom sticking right in there. This isn't going anywhere. I have eight. Two that are going for sure, which is Cassili and Meliora, Safanade, Oriana, La Rose, and Altair are staying. That's four. And then I need to decide on the two Delinas, the OG Delina and Delina exclusive, which one, if not both, are staying and are going. I'm going to wear them. I'm going to see how they actually perform in my skin. Yeah, I haven't worn these. I may have sprayed it. I may have slept in it, but I haven't really worn it. And so that's it for this episode, you guys. What do you think of my decision? What do you think of my choices? What do you think about Perfumes to Marley? Where are you in the Delina poll? Are you pro Delina, anti Delina? i.e. are you for or against rhubarb because i think that is the tartan exclusive and the la rose with that pear note is just a smoother sweeter smelling fragrance since i am um making up for six lost videos i need to keep i need to move it on <laughs> and please don't come for me if i'm wearing the same outfit five different times because and i'm tired Thank you guys for being here. And as I do like to say, we'll see you in the next one. And until then, cheers.